Oh, Jesus, I look toe up. <laughs> What's good, everyone? It's your girl, Kat, from the Kitty Rose Lifestyle. Okay, I got to find a better angle than that because that angle makes me look hot and sweaty and too intoxicated. And I'm intoxicated, but not that intoxicated where I got to look crazy. Um, so... I finally understand what I'm going through as a parent of young adults. <laughs> so I'm on vacation with my daughter, who's 17 and a half, and I'm with her and her peer group, her friend group of at least, I don't know, I, I've lost count. It's about 40 of us on this trip. But her peer group are all starting at 14 to 19 and the 15 16 17 18 in rows it's interesting watching them and i can do this post because one um i'm not friends with anyone on this trip so none of these friends people follow me on social media so i will not be exposing other people's business but um i think what i'm getting ready to share with you all is valid for not just me but for other parents that might be going through this transition of children becoming young adults to then adults and i think the transition to children being adults is an easy one i don't know i don't have that yet but i kind of do my oldest son is 25 and i think looking at him as an adult man in a relationship with a partner all that comes with that i don't have no qualms with it i think it's quite natural i'm cool with it you know he's 25 years old his partner's 31 i look at them really as adults um but my 22 year old and my 17 year old to me them and their friends are still children and i know the reality is that they're not children i realize that they are young adults but what i'm having a I won't say a problem with, hey, Cheryl, what, I, what I'm learning about myself as a parent, and I don't know if it's a, being a black parent or just being a parent that's old school, but I, I come from a place of, I don't mind being friends with my children, but parenting is number one. And I just feel like, I, and I don't, I'm not saying what I feel is right, I'm just saying I feel like there's places and proper situations that children or young people act in not with their parents with or not with adults i think there's a time and a place and i think that everyone has their you know their situation let me just be more direct so we're on vacation and i'm watching these 15 16 17 18 year olds drink take shots i'm even looking at one 19 year old smoke a fucking cigar like an old goddamn man and at the end of the day, these are young adults. But what I realize is that my problem is these are young adults who don't have any real responsibilities. And I think that's the problem I'm having. I think that I probably would be okay, and maybe not, if they had the luxury that they have to act the way that they did, if they still had a level of accountability. And because I know that all of you all still live at home, and yes, you guys pay for your hair, your eyebrows, your fancy clothes, your bags, your nails. Yes, you pay for all of that stuff. But you don't guys don't pay no rent. You don't really pay no real bills. Even if you're just paying your cell phone and some of you who have cars, gas, you're not taking on the full responsibility of what happens when you're fully financially independent, responsible, grown adult living on your own. So when I see these young people engaging and drinking and, and intimate relationships, I'm not bothered so much that they're 17, 18 partaking. I'm bothered that they're behaving as adults that are not responsible for adult things. So now the question is, so then what do I do with that? Or what do we do with that? Because I know I can't be alone as a parent that feels that way. So what do we do? Because it's a fine line. You know, my daughter is a very responsible young woman. You know, young woman. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? And, and, I, and that's, again, the problem. I haven't learned how to grasp 
that they are young adults. In my head, they're children. And in, in, in all reality, at 17, 18, they're not. You know, Isha likes to say to me in a sarcastic way, if we was in the village, I would be married off by now. And on some levels, because I'm so anti the United States, if we were living in the village, and not to say that that's right, she would be married off by now. So what is the problem that I'm having with her as a responsible young woman who works, who goes to school, who keeps a clean house, who takes care of herself, who's good to her family, who's good to her friends, who's a good person? What problem am I having with her expressing herself as a 17 and a half year old young woman with her friends who she has grown up with, love, who love her, who she trusts, they trust her. What's the problem? Why not enjoy life in that, in that peer group? Why not have relationships? Why not do things that, you know, grown-ups do in the safety of that can find relationships or friendships. But I just figured it out. I just figured, and maybe that's a level of jealousy. Are we jealous? Have I, am I jealous of my kids? Am I jealous because when I was 17, I was already on my own. You know what I'm saying? So at 17, I was taking care of, well, 17 going into 18, I was pretty much already taking care of my own life. So maybe there's a level of, and I don't, have, I don't think I have resentment, but I'm really trying to figure out what's my discomfort, you know? But I think my discomfort is the fact that you guys get to act like adults, but not really be adults. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I think that that's kind of crazy because I think that there's a, a pecking order. I think that you work towards adulthood. I think that you work towards being able to do certain things that adults do that young people or children can't do. So for me, for you guys to have that luxury without putting in your dues per se, I kind of feel like they're cheating the process. But as a parent, do I want my child to be out and about, not in my situ not in my presence, not in the company of you know, me and other parents that care about our kids, that we can take them on vacation and allow them to drink and allow them to smoke and allow them to be in... Because my daughter is out here with her boyfriend. <laughs> and she's not out here with her boyfriend, like she's on vacation with her boyfriend, but her boyfriend is on this trip. And even though she's on vacation with her mother, she gets to be on vacation with her boyfriend. <laughs> Like, they in the pool right now, chilling. Like, on each other, kissing. And, and you know she in a bathing suit. And y'all know my daughter's body is crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then on the other hand, what's good, Adrian? But on the other hand, I like her dude. I like his parents. I like where he come from. I like how he treat his mama. I like how he treats his family. I like how he treat his, treats my daughter. So for my daughter's first experience with a young man, then yeah, I guess <laughs> I'm okay with that. But then I go back to my problem. My problem is how you get to have a relationship like some like grown-ups do without doing grown-up shit. And, 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 and the crazy thing she will say is, but I do grown up shit because I take away, I take care of all my responsibilities, which she does for the most part. She's paying to go to Temple. She's the one who saved damn near 10K on her own through COVID. She's the one who gets up and goes to work, cleans and makes sure she does her chores, still maintains her Bible study every week. You know what I'm saying? So I can't, yo, yo, it's crazy. I was watching the housewives and they were out in these islands and the cats just roam around. And I just, I didn't, I knew it was more than just TV, but this shit is really crazy. Just cats and monkeys and shit just running all around. <laughs> just one just walked past me right now. That's why I got distracted. But so I, so I appreciate like Adrian, I appreciate her characteristics. So, and, and that's this, this group, you know, cause I'm sitting there watching them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sitting here just, you know, having 
critical shit to say. I'm literally sitting all of these young people be good kind of responsible people. Good people out here in the world. And as parents, that's all our job is. You know what I'm saying? To teach our young people how to be good, proactive humans out here. You know what I mean? So we, we're doing the job. But I think watching them, it's just weird. It's just weird. I don't... I, I, I've, I've never... I mean, I have a strange relationship with my mother, but I've I've never been intimate with my boyfriend around any of them. <laughs> I, I remember my boyfriend in high school, my senior, Brandon. Me and him was together, and me and Brandon used to hang out at his house a lot. So I was with his parents a lot. But I, I, I swear I don't remember laying up on Brandon. <laughs> this shit is crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? And we have the conversation, so it's not like I'm feeling this way by myself. I talk to my daughter. I talk to her boyfriend. I talk to his mother and his dad. Like, these are communication conversations that I'm not just having with you guys. I'm having them with the people that I'm talking about. Oh, she has good examples? Yeah, me and Eric ain't too bad. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, no, let me not, I take that back. We, yes, thank you, sis, we do, you know. And, yes, it's a different time and communication is key. But I think that in the communication, we as parents, it's like, I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm co-signing them. You know what I'm saying? But in a way, why not co-sign them? Because they're not children. Because they're not doing children things. Isha holds down two jobs <laughs> and her schoolwork. Because in order for her to get school and college paid for, she got to keep a certain grade point average. And at the end of the day, living with a mama like me, she still got to keep her room clean. She still got to wash dishes. She still got to do laundry every week. She still got to clean the bathroom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she still has to fit everything in her schedule. And this little, I want to say this little girl, but this young woman... <laughs> And, and 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 it's the same for my boys. But I but this no one they say no one gives us a lesson on how to be parents in the beginning stage, but no one gives us lessons on how to be parents of the transition of when of watching your children become young adults. You know? Like a lot of us come from so many broken homes and we don't have relationships with our parents. So we don't know what this looks like. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what's interesting and challenging at the same time. Because all of us as parents in this group have relationships with our children that's different. We're watching them become young adults. And for me, I'm annoyed. And I don't want to be annoyed because they're entitled to live their life. You know what I'm saying? Her boyfriend is a good dude. Her friends are good people. But I got a problem with them smoking hookahs and smoking cigars and drinking shots. I do. I do. <laughs> but I am by myself as a parent on this trip, too. <laughs> Because look at where I'm at. I'm in my room. Because <laughs> my ass is coming to take a nap. <laughs> I, just, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I just, I couldn't. All right, guys. Keep us in prayer. I'm interested to hear from my parents out there. What's Adrian have to say? That's all you can ask for having good people. It's okay to feel how you feel. <laughs> I think I'll be okay when she's like 30. <laughs> oh, Jesus Lord. <laughs> I'm tripping because I'm, even, I'm not even understanding why I'm so emotional about it. And it's crazy because I wasn't as emotional at watching my sons grow up, you know. 
I am emotional about EJ. I don't Marisol. I need if there's a parent. <laughs> there's a parent. Talk to me, sis. Cause you got kids around my same. You got young adults. You're actually your kids are older than my kids. And you go out with your kids. I'm I know your handsome son got a boy got a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because like I said, like when I stayed with Isaiah last year, you know, I was okay with knowing that my son was having sex with his with his partner. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a grown ass man and I'm in his house. But he's also twenty five. And not that that's that far from twenty two. But I, I give I give no love to my son's girlfriend. Like, I'm, I'm a little shady towards her. And I think a part of it is because she's white, and I, I really don't want my son to date a white girl. I know that's fucked up. I know, I know that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. And that just got to be something that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And she might be nice. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't like the fact that I don't give her an opportunity. I was at his house the other day, and I actually gave her, like, no fever. No, I wasn't mean, but I was, I don't even think I looked her way. And that's, that ain't cool. But, you know, that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? But a part of me also, you know, feels, well, that's my shit. We ain't talking about EJ. We're talking about my 17-year-old daughter. So on that note, <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to try to take me a nap and get ready for dinner. All right, guys. I would like to hear some input for some parents. I want to know what you guys think. Or not, because you guys like to inbox me and, and talk privately. But I think whatever information you have is helpful to all of us. Because I can't be the only parent that's going through this. Or am I? Am I overreacting? Adrian told me it's okay. Hmm. Talk to me, guys. What's all right? You guys have a good night. I think I might be on the verge of being tipsy myself. <laughs> That's what happens when you come to all exclusive, all inclusive hotels, right? You just be, and them kids like shot, 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 shot. Kids, but they're not kids. They're young adults. <sighs> all right, let me go. Everybody be safe out there. Enjoy this weather. Spring is here. And it's going to be time to try to maneuver differently during the pandemic. All right. You guys be safe out there. Please, if I look really drunk. I don't think I look drunk. I think I look hot and sweaty. <laughs> All right, everyone. It's your girl, Cat. The revolution has begun. One.